everyone, welcome back. My name is Stacy, and this is the For Bricks and Giggles YouTube channel. For today's speed build, I have a classic town set, set 6383, the Public Works Center from 1981. So stick around to the end to hear my review, and let's get started. So here we have the completed build. This set is right around 400 pieces and comes with four minifigures. And I got this set a few years ago from a bulk lot purchase. I found this lot on eBay probably four years ago now, three or four years ago, that had just vintage Lego and like I've said before, some of my best finds have been from lots that have poor pictures. So this lot had really bad pictures and honestly it looked fairly dirty like maybe they had this lot outside or something like that it was like 80 bucks and I think it was over 20 pounds of just what I could see looked like vintage Lego so I was like I'm gonna take a shot on it and this set was in there and it was complete and on its own that well over pays for the lot itself so it really worked out this is one of those sets I've looked at since I was a kid and you know obviously it came out long before I was even born so I had totally missed out on it but I thought it looked so cool and I was so excited to get it it is missing one sticker which I have been on the hunt for since I originally got this and I did do a video on this when my channel first started but it was before I had done reviews so I'm excited to get to show it to you a little bit closer today because I do truly love this set so I'll show you the minifigures first it does come with four but they are all four the exact same so you get four of these great little construction workers very classic torso little red hat love it now this set is from 1981 so the minifigures are at least color wise slightly different the hands tend to be a little bit lighter of a yellow color and I'll show you the interior as well does not have any of the prongs either so I'm not sure how long they did this where there weren't any interior prongs but it is hard to find these now and a lot of times I think they crack a little bit easier because they don't have those interior prongs to kind of help stabilize the structure. So a little bit interesting of a fact there, but four of those are included. I really like that they're all the same. Obviously they could have done some variations for it, but I kind of think, you know, uniform for a construction crew is kind of nice. One thing I particularly love about classic original town sets is the color scheme. All the just 
yellow, red, blue colors look so great. You know, you don't really have anything outside of a few colors, so it makes everything look really uniform and nice together. And I miss that a lot. I would easily go back to a time where this was kind of the, the norm for sets. Having crazy parts and crazy colors is obviously super fun, but I just really like the feel and look of original Lego, particularly for town sets. So here on the end, we have the garage, which has the garage doors, which are some of my favorite pieces. So they are functional. Always love that. The garage sign at the top is a sticker piece. Considering that these did look like they had been played with outside, the stickers that were still on the set are in really nice condition. I'm not sure for that last sticker what happened to it, but it was not included and I have been looking for it on Bricklink for years. It wasn't until recently that for some of these really vintage sets, particularly ones where the sticker didn't go on an individual brick. It went on multiple bricks. And it hasn't been until recent that Bricklink has even made those options available as an individual kind of listing. And I'm so glad they finally did because the only way for me to search for it was to look for just the sticker sheet, which obviously for a set that came out 40 years ago, I can't believe this set is 40 years old. You know, that's just really, really not likely to find a sticker sheet that still had it applied. So the one that's missing does go on this blue build back here. Hopefully someday I will find that. Right now on Bricklink there was one for sale, but the sticker had been ripped in half and I'm gonna hold out hope for one that's not been ripped. Honestly, I'd be willing to pay a decent amount of money since it's the only thing now missing from this set. You get a couple of cute little vehicles, very classic builds. This one also has a sticker on the back, a nice little vehicle there. This one's also really cute. So a lot of playability with the vehicles included. I love that this set comes on two base plates. Just takes up a nice size, a nice amount of space. While it's only 400 pieces, it feels a lot larger than that. On the end, you get a bunch of these just regular one by one bricks that you can use to scoop. So this structure on the back is one of my favorites. Very nice and functional to pick the blocks up and then take them down to the end down here and then you can actually dump them into this structure which feeds into a section below so I'm just going to take a handful of them dump them in there so you would be technically using this to dump them in there and then this piece pulls out to dump them below so you would have your little vehicle below and then it dumps them out. And I think that's a really nice, great design. So you can move them around from there, take them out to whatever other areas of your city, you know, you might be constructing a building on. So a really great little functional piece there to move things around. Let's see if I can get this close enough for you to see this great sticker on the end of the building. I love that one. This sticker was actually what led me to figure out which set this was based on, you know, what I could find available in the lot. A nice little building. So just, you know, little tools scattered about. A lot of great little features. Like I said, not a large build in the sense that it's a lot of pieces, but it does take up a great amount of space to make it feel like a large build. Now, this set is super expensive. I looked it up on Bricklink and it's starting at about $200. And usually with sets from this era, it's probably cheaper to part them out, but this one might be an exception in that it did have stickers that are incredibly difficult to get. So that would make it extremely hard to piece together because you're probably going to end up paying a lot for any of the sticker pieces if you can even find them. Like I said, I've been looking for one of them for years and have not been able to get it. Also, the garage doors, the little one by two bricks that, that house the garage door are yellow and in that color, they're only in this set. 
Actually, I'll pull one off so I can show it to you. It's kind of hard to explain. So this grooved piece, which is in a lot of colors, very inexpensive. So they go for a few dollars a piece and it takes a lot of them, probably 20 or more. So all in all, I absolutely love this set. I know it's crazy expensive. I only recently got the instruction manual for it, which by itself I think was like 20 bucks which again is a very expensive amount. Usually I don't pay that kind of money for instruction manuals, but this is, I think the oldest set I have. I have this one in like the yellow castle, which I think my version is also the 1981 version. So those are pretty much my oldest set. So I thought it was worth it to try and get the instruction manual for it. But if you find it for a good deal, obviously I'm gonna recommend it, but I totally understand that it is an expensive set, a hard to find set. So realistically, it might not be something you can afford, but I love this set. If you can find it, definitely get it. I will always recommend vintage town sets. watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.